Hi, in this package tracer, we will discover the NDP protocol or neighbor discovery protocol on the topology. On part one, we will discover this protocol running on the local network between PCA1 and PCA2. And on part two, we will discover this protocol on the remote network or between uh, the, the left network to the right network. As you know, in order for a device to communicate with another device, the MAC address of the destination must be known. With IPv6, a process called neighbor discovery using NDP protocol is responsible for determining the destination MAC address. Now, on part 1, we will ping from PCA1 to PCA2 using the simulation mode and examine the packet to understand more clearly about the NDP process. Firstly, I will get the destination IP address. I copy it and on the PCA1 I enter the command one and paste the destination IP address of PCA2 here. Now let's examine the event list. Firstly, on PCA1 we have the ICMP V6 packet and then we have the NDP packet. Uh, the first packet is ICMP V6 with the destination IP address. And the, this is the e call message type 128. There are no information on layer 2. The second packet is NDP. And you see the destination IP is a multicast address and it is a neighbor message type 135 or another name is neighbor solicitation message. Now I run. Drop this packet, receive and reply to PCA1, and there is the ICMP V6 packet, send to PCA2, and PCA2 will reply. Now I stop this process. As you have just seen, Firstly, the NDP message or NDP packet will run first and from PC1 to suite A, we have the MAC address of the multicast. This is a multicast address. When receiving this NDP packet, Suite A sent to PCA2 and also sent to Router A. But Router A will drop the packet because the destination IPv6 address is not much. Only PCA2 reply. and attach its MAC address to the reply message. And suite A will send back the NDP packet with the destination MAC address of PCA2 to 
B C A one. Yeah. This is the MAC address of B C A two. One having the destination MAC address B C A one will encapsulate the ICMP V six packet with the destination MAC address and send to BCA2. So when receiving the ICMP V6 e-call message, the BCA2 will reply to BCA1. So using the process called neighbor discovery BCA1 have the destination MAC address. And remember about the message type. Firstly, the message type 135 is a neighbor solicitation message. And the reply from BCA2 here. This is a reply from PCA2. The message type is neighbor message type or 136 or neighbor advertisement message. So that is all for part one. Now we will begin to examine the NDP process when pinging from PCA1 to PCB1 on the nano network. To do that, I reopen the activity file. Click on this one and click open. The reason why I have to reopen it uh, is to reset the activity for the simulation to run exactly. Now, I ping from PC1 to PCB1. I get the IP address. And ping command. And paste here. And before pressing enter, I change to simulation mode with the ICMP V6 and NDP on the event list filter. Then I ping. You see on PCA1, we have ICMP V6 eCall message with the destination IPv6 address of PCB1. And the NDP appear with the multicast address with the message type 135 or neighbor solicitation message. And on layer 2, we have the multicast link layer address. Now, let's examine the process. Send to suite A. Suite A will send to PCA2 and router A. Router A send back. It mark address. PCA1 will send the ICMP V6 packet to router A. Router A must know the mark address of PCB1. So it sends the NDP packet and PCB1 send back its MAC address to router A. And router A send the ICMP V6 packet to PCB1. PCB1 reply, but it firstly it must know the MAC address of router A. So it send the NDP packet 
to router and router send back its MAC address. Having the MAC address, PCB1 will send the e-call reply ICP visit to router. Router must know the MAC address of PCA1, so it send the NDP packet to PCA1 and PCA1 send back its MAC address. And router A will send the IPM, ICMP V6 reply message to PCA1. Uh, so in summary, you see, uh, before sending the ICMP V6, the source, I, the source host or the source uh, sending message must know the MAC address of the destination host. To get that MAC address, it will send the NDP packet uh, to the multicast address and receive the reply from the destination. The request message we call the neighbor solicitation message and the reply we call the neighbor advertisement message. So that is all for this activity explanation. Thanks for watching.